Hi everybody, it's now December 13, 2017. It's 1.07 a.m. on the East Coast, so it is 10.07 p.m. on the West Coast. And this is my California fire update. Devastating LA fire spreading more slowly as survivors pick up the pieces. The reason why I chose this article was to read you a quote of Governor Jerry Brown, what he said at the Paris Climate Summit. Where he is, his state, Southern California burning up. Jerry Brown, he's over in Paris, and he's got to fight climate change because, well, there he warned the wildfires ravaging his state should serve as a warning for other parts of the world threatened by climate change. The important fact is that these fires are going to become a very frequent occurrence. That's what the science is telling us. That's what he said at the One Planet Summit held in Paris. That's what he said. The science is telling us that fires, out of control fires, will become a very frequent occurrence. It's a real indicator of bad things to come and hopefully will serve to wake up people who right now are too complacent. Oh my God. And people believe this guy. Funny, Jerry. Because it seems that a homeless person, oh, wait, a homeless illegal cooking a fire in a homeless encampment started the fire. Started a fire that destroyed six homes and damaged a dozen. Last week in the exclusive Bel Air section of Los Angeles. Interesting, isn't it? So if it was an illegal cooking a fire in a homeless encampment, Jerry. How could it be climate change? Or did the climate change that illegal made him crazy? So he started the fire in the ritzy neighborhood of Bel Air. Bel Air. They have homeless encampments in Bel Air. Oh, I guess it was outside of Bel Air and then it just kind of came into Bel Air. That's right. Oh, by the way, when they went to the camp, nobody was in the camp. No arrests have been made. So, how do they know it was an illegal cooking fire in a homeless encampment. How do they know that? No one was there. No arrests have been made. Will Americans ever get their brains back when they read these kinds of things? Will it ever, ever dawn on them to question what they're hearing, what they're reading? Oh my God. It truly is the lack of brain cells operating here that's killing us. So, I was looking at these pictures. Crews struggle to keep flames from California neighborhoods. And this, this was uh, well, posted, what, an hour ago. Look at these pictures. And it's really... Um, well, I, I, I'm, I, I almost think, am I watching a movie of what is going on? The Thomas Fire. Well, let me show you this. The Thomas Fire, um, amazingly, is only now 25% contained. It went from... 
like 5% to 10% to 15 to 20, back down to 10, then back up to 20. Now it's 25% contained. And what I found interesting was this was updated. This is the Cal Fire page where they're giving all of the information about these fires. They update them. This was updated today or, well, December 12th at just about 7 p.m. And the conditions, the conditions are exactly those conditions, excuse me, those conditions that I, in this video that I posted last night, exact same conditions. And you can check it out. You can read it. No difference. They're still saying severe fire weather will continue to promote significant fire growth further into Santa Barbara County, threatening the communities of Montecito and Summerland. Gusty Santa Ana winds will continue to push fire to the west while very low fuel, moistures, high temperatures, and single digit relative humidities will support fire growth on the west and north sides, extreme fire behavior, yada, 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 yada. Same exact conditions. Which I find interesting. The colors are rather magnificent, to say the least. Yes, officials are handing out masks because the smoke is so toxic. So the Thomas fire continues to rage on. They can't seem to get this thing stopped. Look at these trees. Has the bark come right off these trees? <clears throat> so I'm hearing that People are seeing very few helicopters dropping waters. But look at this. They, they, they can't see all of the chemtrails. So this is all of the smoke from the fire. But they can't see that something is strange here. All of these lines all of the chemtrails right here, dry conditions, uh, humidity very low, no rain. Even these clouds of smoke look strange to me. So, Carpinteria, Santa Barbara, Montecito. Tens of thousands of people remain evacuated, including many from the seaside enclaves of Montecito, Summerlin, and Carpinterina. Summerlin is where <clears throat> Ortega Blue lives, but she has not posted since December 10, two days ago. And I have not heard from my subscriber who went down to to help her parents and other family members. This is the Thomas fire. Eight days. We're going on the ninth day and it still rages. Don't you find that a little odd? I do. After the massive Thomas fire still threatening tens of thousands of homes in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties, crews have been setting back fires in an effort to keep those flames from moving north into the heavily populated areas near Santa Barbara tonight. And tonight the fire is still posing the danger to the communities of Carpinteria, Santa Barbara, Montecito, and Summerland. Now, this is the latest map of mandatory and voluntary evacuations 
And if you're in any of those zones, fire crews want you to pack up and head out. Well, so far, the Thomas Fire has burned around 232,000 acres in Ventura and Santa Barbara counties. Tonight, firefighters have it 20% contained. 1,025 homes and other buildings have been destroyed or damaged. 18,000 more are in danger as the fire burns westward, we're told. Kick Line's Andrea for GE is live in Carpinteria right now with more on how people who live in the danger zone are feeling tonight. Andrea? Jeff and Elsa, we are in a mandatory evacuation zone, and you can see why. Take a look at the hills behind us. What you're looking at is the hills of the Santa Monica Canyon, and these are the flames of the Thomas Fire meeting up with a controlled burn. Now, firefighters are all along this hillside making sure this fire does not spread. They say they are getting the upper hand right now, but no, anything could change. From the glow of Christmas lights to the glow of a hillside on fire, the Van Wingerden family says they're prepared. And I've been a little bit more nervous about this because I've never seen anything like this. They're in a voluntary evacuation zone, but across the street, it's mandatory. So they've taken down all their family pictures and important documents packed and ready to go. Firefighters say the calmer winds helped in their firefight and allow them to do controlled burns airdrops, and structure protection all day and night. They say their main focus is on keeping the fire away from Carpinteria and Montecito and ensuring the fire stays above Highway 192. The arrest codes are in the mandatory evacuation area, but decided to stay, feeling confident in the firefighters. I'm surprised I'm not more stressed out than I am, but, um, you know, if I have to put it in the car and drive down the street, that's what I'll do. Besides their home, the Van Wingerdens have their business to think about. Myriad Flowers has been in their family for decades. This is one of the reasons why I, I don't want to leave as quickly. I um, want to make sure that everything going, is going on okay here. He says the roses, some which will decorate Cal Poly's float for the Rose Parade, haven't gotten enough sunlight because of all the smoke. But the family says they're ready to leave their flowers and home behind if the fire gets too close. It just keeps coming down the hill, and I think that's what, you know, makes me kind of scared as I see it coming down this way. Firefighters say even though they feel like they've made good progress on the fire today, anything could happen. So they want people in the area to monitor evacuation websites just in case the wind... So anything could happen. We have already seen that these fires with the Santa Ana winds suddenly, well, people are running around, they open stall doors, they're letting loose thoroughbreds, horses, they couldn't even open up all the stall doors enough, so the horses died in the fire. Haven't they heard about this fire? that it, the, the rapidity with which it is moving. And then you have these people who are just, well, I don't know why I don't feel as stressed out. You know, I have confidence in my firefighters. And strange that right across the street, mandatory evacuations. And then on the opposite side, voluntary evacuations. This, this whole thing is really very surreal. Um, I will say this. I, I've been watching a lot of videos posted by people, and it seems that a lot of people are making very definitive you know, statements as to why these fires have occurred. I don't get how they can come up with their definitive statements because there's so many methods in which they could be using to get these fires, you know, going. And all I know is that it is deliberate. But we can't get this, we can't get this stopped, not with our fellow Americans and their mindset. So Jerry Brown is right. We will be seeing this more frequently, but it's not due to climate change. We all know that. 
So we've got this big fire truck in the air. Big fire truck in the air to fight the fire. So, why did they call this in so late in the game? This does not make any sense. The uh, Russia has offered help. And that was five days ago? This was on December 8, as wildfires swept through the state of California. Russian Federation officials have offered their aid in the form of amphibious firefighting airplanes called B-200s, which could be mobilized in 72 hours, according to a Santa Maria airport official. Hell, you know. Don't you want to take all the help that you could possibly take? Funny. I guess this is the B-200 fire fighting plane that is dropping red, white, and blue. Um, so nothing on that. I am hearing from people that they're seeing very few helicopters. Hey, Canadians, did you know that Russia offered to send water bombers to fight the Fort McMurray fire? And President Trudeau declined. We don't need any help from you Russians. Fort McMurray. That was pretty much the entire Fort McMurray was pretty much burned to the ground. The entire area. If I'm not mistaken, that was, I posted on that. So, um, it, it seems kind of bizarre to me that they have not updated at all the conditions. And here we still have all of these. I, I mean, it's, it, it just continues, okay? Is this entire area in flames? Is that what we're looking at? Or is it just where you see the circles? This area is, there are no fires here. How does that work? How does it work that we've got these kind of isolated fires that they can't seem to contain? All right, I also want to show you that, well, when you click on these squares, all right, that is not a fire, but you click on the, as Russ College wants, fire detection. These are satellite fire detections or detectors. And you got one in Redondo Beach, age and hours, 20 hours, 53 minutes. But they don't say anything about it. Are these fires just fires that break out? 
that these satellites detect. Age in hours, 18 hours, 18 hours. You got these over here in Rancho Cucamonga, 9 hours that they just break out. Is Jerry Brown right when he said that we'll be firefighting at Christmas? Age and hour is 18. So it seems that these fires have broken out at pretty much the same exact time. Uh, lilac fire is 95% contained. Okay, that's good. So it does seem, and I've posted videos on this, and I'm not going to go back to that America 2050 map that shows the mega regions, but it does seem that this entire area is outside the Southern California mega region. Okay, that's all I have. Um, I am um... guys I don't know what is wrong with me I don't know if it's frequencies I don't know if I'm just so unbelievably tired of all of what is going on in our country and our fellow Americans who are just so Well, between the apathy, between the self-centeredness, and yeah, between the frequencies, between all of the poisons. All right, let me ask, how many of you have any hope of turning any of this around? My hunch is that you probably know where I'm at, I don't know how to get back my my fight. Age and hours, 18.8. They're all going off at the same time. 18.8. Who knows how how uh, accurate this is, but age and hours, 20. without getting through to more people. Who is next? South of Carson City, east of Sacramento. All of these little squares are identifying fires. 18.8. Redding. 18.8. All links are blown. 